welcome to the Simpkins Center, the Gold Room. I, have, I happen to think that every day is a great day to be a Spartan, but today in particular is very, very exciting. Uh, really appreciate you being here. We want to welcome those of you that are watching uh, on the Mountain West Network, on Facebook, and on Twitter, uh, but it's a touchpoint day for Spartan athletics. Uh, I'm going to introduce our president in a moment. She'll have some remarks, uh, and then we'll hear from Coach Brennan. Following the press conference, we'll be available for any individual questions that may be asked. Okay? Now, those of you who know me, I usually start presentations with a Spartan up at the count of three, and we're going to do that right now, right now. Okay? One, two, three. Spartan up! Great. Now, we all know, okay, that um, leadership is crucial to, to being successful in, in just about any enterprise. And I want to tell you how fortunate we are to have President Papazian as the president at San Jose State University, not just for athletics, but for our entire university. This deal today doesn't happen without her leadership and without her counsel. So I really want a sincere thank you to her. And I would like a nice Spartan welcome for President Papazian. Thank you. Thank you, Marie. And um, it also doesn't happen without you. Don't we have a wonderful athletic director here at San Jose State? So when I came to San Jose State a few years ago, um, I was perhaps the seventh president in 10 years or 15 years. And I had a chance to see, just from the work I had to do in my role, um, what that did to an, a campus, not to have stability in the leadership, not to be able to sustain a forward momentum. Um, people did great work, uh, good things happened, students got a great education, but we weren't able to move forward strategically in the way that we had liked. And that happens not only at the university, but that's also important in an athletic program and certainly in a football program. And so we, we were so excited to be able to bring Coach Brennan here. Now, we all know it was a rough couple of years, his first two years here. And um, some of you wondered about that and did we have the right guy? And I said from the beginning we did because it's all about character, it's about integrity, it's about engagement with our student athletes, it's about commitment to our educational mission, it's about creating opportunity and doing it with quality. The wins and losses are the lagging indicator. They come at the end when everything else is moving in the right direction. And what has really impressed me um, from the beginning, from when I first interviewed um, Coach Brennan uh, before he was, was our coach, um, was a commitment to transforming the lives of the young men in his care. And uh, this is uh, something that has really, I think, shaped the work that he has done. It has also shaped the work of the entire coaching staff. And the entire coaching staff also gets tremendous credit for the way they have nurtured and helped young men transform themselves um, from, you know, just out of high school, sort of entering, entering the challenge of uh, the university, many of them the first in their families to attend a university, and developing and emerging as young men with confidence, uh, succeeding academically, moving toward degrees, moving out in the community and contributing to the kind of inclusive community that we care about, one that lives by its values. And that is led by our, our head coach, but it is, it is really realized by all of our coaches. And I want to thank the entire coaching staff for their tremendous dedication and commitment to, um, to this program, to this university, and to the values that we all represent. Can we just have a round of applause to the entire coaching staff? Now, now, in Coach Brennan's first uh, couple of years, um, when the record wasn't what we had hoped for or, or, or liked, a lot of critics out there, and at that time, they often criticized his enthusiastic nature and the way he embraced the students, even when things weren't going well. 
But whatever criticism they saw, what we saw was somebody who cared deeply about those young men and who understood that um, when things are tough, that's the time you really do need encouragement. It doesn't ma mean that the, the, the tough love uh, in the locker room and the teaching that goes on in the film room and elsewhere isn't happening. It is. But there's that moment of saying, I believe in you. And whenever he embraced a young man who had just come off the field and perhaps, you know, missed a play, missed a tackle, dropped a pass, it was always a way of saying, I believe in you and I believe in the future. And we saw it the same way uh, from the head coaching position, that we had a coach who was building it the right way. And one of the things we said all along, both Marie and myself, is that um, we're less worried about the wins and losses, though of course we're as competitive as anyone and we know they're gonna come. And we're more interested in doing it the right way, doing it with integrity, without shortcuts, in a way that will sustain the program long term. It's easy to do something in the short term and just get that blip and have everybody cheer and um, feel good. But will it last? Is it sustainable? Have we built a culture of integrity? And ultimately, that is what undergirds a culture of winning. Winning on the field, winning in the classroom, and winning in the community. And that's what we're trying to build here at San Jose State. And we have seen some of that really come through and some really wonderful um, wins and losses. We had some amazing losses this year. Um, losses of which we can be proud because of the heart and soul in which, with which our players played and again the commitment of our entire coaching staff. And we knew we had the right person at the helm and we're looking to build long term. And so it is with great pleasure, I think, that we are, are um, looking forward to um, having Coach Brennan here, not just for another two years, but for three years after that. So this is a three-year extension to keep him here for five years um, to really allow us to build a sustainable, strong, and winning program. Uh, we know he puts his heart and soul into all of it. We know that this is a great representation of our university writ large and what we care about. And we are looking forward to the leaders that these young men will become when they leave us and move into whatever profession they will because they are learning the values of hard work, of commitment, of dedication, and of really sustaining something long term. So we're delighted to have been able to reach an agreement. We're delighted that Coach Brendan sees his future here as well. Um, and we think this is just a great day for Spartan Athletics, but it's also a wonderful day for our university as a whole. So welcome for an even longer time, Coach. Glad to have you, no pressure, Good. of course. Um, and uh, thank you all for being here to just share in this, in this happy day with us. Thank you. Okay. Um, wow. Uh, thank you so much, President Papazian, for those remarks. Um, there's a few things that you may not know about Coach Brennan, and I just wanted to share them real quickly. First of all, uh, he and his staff and his student athletes have a deep commitment to the other 21 programs that we sponsor here. And our football program shows up. They show up at soccer matches, and they show up at volleyball matches, and basketball games, and water polo matches. They know that they have a responsibility. If we want people to support our football program, then we have to support the endeavors of others. It's also evident by the number of head coaches that are either here right now or who sent a text or an email to Coach Brennan or to myself, and that's really, really important. The other thing, and I didn't realize this a couple years ago, is with Brent came uh, Beth Brennan, his mom and Courtney's mother-in-law, and Mary Clark, Courtney's mom and Brent's mother-in-law. Glad I got that right. Uh, <laughs> but and with Courtney and Blake and Casey and Scotty and the entire Brennan family and uh, the Clark family, uh, there's this sense of energy around this building almost every single day. And it's been such a joy for me uh, to get to know both those families better. And I will tell you, no matter what the score is, uh, they are there to support us. And I think that's really been a benefit to our program. Um, I've seen this coach at the uh, highest moments after, you know, beating Arkansas. And uh, I've spent time with them when, you know, we lost in five overtimes to Hawaii, which we are still not over. So that, and in such anguish and pain, I have seen this coach time and time again tell his players how much he loves them. 
time and time again. And then we walk out the door and his heart is ripped out of his throat if it's been an anguishing loss. And the first thing he does, the first thing he does is compliment his opponents. Now, the president is very clear about the kind of program she wants in athletics, all 22 programs. We're going to do it the right way. We're going to do it with integrity. And we're going to build a sustainable, vibrant, exciting championship program in athletics. That's what our goal is for all 22 sports. And I just need to tell you, I could not be more thrilled to know that Brent Brennan is going to be the champion of this football program for at least the next five years. Very warm welcome for Brent Brennan, please. Well, thank you for coming. Um, this is t three years ago when I did this the first time, I had a b book in like 50 pages written out. And today I've got <laughs> two note cards. Um, and I think that's a little bit of the idea that, that we as a football staff are getting better at this. Um, first, I need to introduce my wife and my daughters, my wife, Courtney, my daughters, Blake and Casey. Our son, Scotty, couldn't make it because he's actually in school for the first time all semester and not traveling, <laughs> not traveling with our football team like he likes to do or hanging out in the locker room with Trey Walker and the rest of the wide receivers and Josh Love catching passes. But um, I am very lucky for this woman and actually all these women in my life because they keep me on a good path. And it's not an easy thing being a ball coach's wife. You guys have heard that message from me before. But every coach's wife that has lived this, or coach's husband, doesn't really matter the sport, they, they go through an insane amount of time by themselves, raising the family on their own. And so, love you, thank you. I need to thank Marie and Dr. Papazian because uh, I feel like our leadership at this school right now is, is in a totally unique place. We have an unreal commitment to building something incredible, not just in athletics, but on campus. And a lot of the decisions they make take real courage, and they have incredible courage. And I have so much respect and appreciation for them that it really has nothing to do with what we're here for today, but just how they go about their business, how they lead us, how they lead this athletics department, how they lead this university. And it's incredibly impactful. And the impactful is so far reaching. And so I'm very grateful for both of you in my life. All the women in my life are, are here. Um, it's like, told my wife I got some other women I need to talk to. Um, the other thing that's been amazing and, over, and you know, overwhelming in some ways has been just the outpouring of support from the other head coaches on our campus. And I see a lot of you guys here today. Um, you guys have been so, this is really a unique place. And I think Marie creates that in our athletics department, but the, other coaches on this campus, there's real love there. There's real support there. And I've worked at a lot of colleges and it's not, or universities, it's not like that all the time. And so there's incredible support. Um, obviously football loves coming to your games and being a part of your process and cheering you on. And it's great for me because that's the only place I can go and cuss out the refs and not get a 15 <laughs> yard penalty. But um, no, it's really awesome. And, and so I, I appreciate all the love and support from the other head coaches and, and all the other coaches whether they're here or, or they've reached out to me in the last 24 hours. Um, it's, really, it's really been overwhelming. Um, in three years, we've, we have a lot of exciting stuff happening here. And you know, I think the first thing that's, in my mind, the most important to me is just the academic progress. And I see all of our academic support team here. And we're really grateful for you guys, because you are with the players more than we are. And you are doing work with them that is more important than the work we're doing. And, and it's so critical that they have the support and the guidance they need academically so they can build this life that we want them to build. It's such a big part of our process of building young men into men at San Jose State. And I'm so thankful for you guys. You know, Every semester, more 3.0s than we had this semester before. We'll see this semester. I see our dudes in the back. Pressure is on. <laughs> it's finals week. They said they got it, OK? Um, and then. You know, the other part of that, we have Tobrook Blaine here, and she runs our Beyond Football program. And that's been an incredible process of developing that program and building it. And the people that are involved in sponsoring that, I'm internally grateful for. Um, for, 
friends, family friends that I grew up with who, who helped us get that done. But Tobrook has taken that program and absolutely run with it. And it's helping our young men get an idea about what they're going to do beyond football. And it's really important. So I know that's been very valuable for our graduating seniors and those freshmen are just starting to learn what it's all about. But I'm really excited about that program and where it's going uh, so far. I see our players in the back. Love you guys. Thank you for being here. You guys are awesome. And uh, I think we saw real improvement on the football field this year. And I think there's the good thing is that this football team is still hurting from the fact that we didn't get to the postseason. I mean, I don't know if that's a good thing, but it's still there because we were so close. And to me, that was just a real sign of progress. And the way they responded, the way our seniors led us in that last game against Fresno in a hurricane I've never seen before in Spartan Stadium, I, um, it was such a, a gratifying win. And to see them come back from three just really devastating losses, to me, that's a sign that this team loves each other, that our coaches love each other, that we are all in this together and we are fighting this battle every day to improve Spartan football and get it to a place where we want it to be. I love our staff. We've got all of our coaches here. Um, these guys work so hard to be a part of our players' lives, to help them on their you know, personal journey. Every player is different. Every player has a different story they're writing, and all of these men are a critical part in that process. You know, Sometimes it's tough love, like Dr. Papazian talked about, and sometimes it's a hug, or sometimes it's a, hey, get to class. But whatever it is, um, our coaching staff, we have really good people here supporting these players, and I'm very, very thankful for them. I love this university. I love these players. I think coaching is teaching, and college is a time in their lives that is all about growth. And in my mind, what this extension means for us, that at this time of growth, it's so critical for our players that the consistency of the teaching, the consistency of the mentorship, the consistency of the love is going to remain. It's not going to be stopped and started or changed midway through their process. And I think that's so critical. The best chance for us to grow as young men into men is through that consistency. And I feel the same way with us on the football team. We talk about that a lot, right? Consistency. And so um, I'm just so excited that with this extension, it gives us a chance to continue to build the championship program that we want to have at San Jose State through that consistency, consistency of coaching staff. We're going to hopefully retain everybody on our staff. And so the players know what the expectations are. They're very high. They know what the practice environment's going to be. They know what the work environment's going to be. Every day when they come here, they know what the expectations are academically. They know what they are socially. And that's all led through that consistent message, that consistent teaching that's going to be there with the extension. All right, we're moving right along. Okay. I think the thing that sometimes gets lost in all this football world is uh, the importance of the university. And San Jose State is on the move. Like, look around, go on campus, right? It's incredible. And if you don't talk about it, you don't pay attention to it, no one hears about it. The message gets lost or the excitement gets lost. And look at what has happened. New student union, not very long ago, right? SRAC opened in the spring, right? We have the new interdisciplinary science building, the big hole in the ground is going up $180 million. There is so much happening on a campus that we can be excited about where Dr. Papazian, where the leadership of our campus is taking us as an institution, right? And then how football can complement that. If you look at South Campus, just in the time that I've been here, golf facility is incredible, right? The soccer stadium, we have lights. I've been to a night game in our soccer stadium and watched our women win the Mountain West title. It was amazing, okay? Softball stadium. Incredible, right? Tennis, we host a, you know, women's, was it WTA? I'm going to say it wrong. WTA. Per, WTA, right? Huge tournament here, right? And it brings all kinds of new people onto our campus. And so all of these things with you have what is being built on campus and the growth of our campus, and then also combine that what's happening down here and how the two things complement each other, 
I think it is an incredible time to be a part of San Jose State University. For our players, our staff, our fans, our alums, everybody, it is an epic time to be here, and we are going to complement that with a championship football program that we are continuing to build every single day. I am so grateful for the opportunity to be here at San Jose State. I want to be here, and now I'm going to be here for a long time. So thank you, Marie. Thank you, Dr. Papazian. Everybody, let's go! Okay, now, we got some work to do. We got to roll our sleeves up, okay? And you may recall three years ago when Coach Brennan was at his press conference, do you remember what he said about get off the bench? He said, get off the bench and get in the game. And he's talked about some of the exciting things that are happening on main campus and also on south campus. We have a Spartan Athletic Center that we got to get built. And we're working real hard. We're getting ready to do our ribbon cutting for um, our beach courts. We got a lot going on. And we need everyone to be all in, all in to help us move this entire athletics program forward. On behalf of all of us in athletics, I want to thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for what you've done to help us. Thank, us. thank you for what you will do as we build the future of athletics at San Jose State. At the count of three, Spartan up. One, two, three. Thank you.